But we're live again. I don't know why. I, oh, I don't know why I started singing. I tend to do that with when uh, Steven's here too. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to broadcasting to your community. My name is David Burroughs, and my friend Stephen Healy. Well, this is a this is a, a much more attractive version. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Healy is uh, on the road traveling, and uh, so my friend uh, Brigetti Lombada is here. Thanks for being here, Brigetti. It's a pleasure. Stephen Healy looks slightly different today. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> we might keep you. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stephen's uh, traveling well, with his mom or something, I think, or for, to his mom or from his mom's or? From from his mom. He was visiting his mom for the weekend, and it's quite a long journey. Yeah. Um, but it's all by train, and uh, I'm sure it's a very exciting journey, you know, uh, scenic anyway. Oh, so yeah. I'm sure he's having fun along the way. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, I did have a quick chat with him earlier this morning, and uh, he was on the train, so he was very quick and it was very short, responsive. So, but we will see him later today. But uh, for those of you who don't know Brigetti, he's coming to us live from South Africa, um, and uh, we occasionally get to chat. So it's it's nice to have you here as the host today. There's there's a lot we can talk about here. We got a full hour to to talk. And, uh, of course, Rosetti, you know, we always talk about, well, it's broadcasting to your community. It's really kind of changed. Uh, isn't it funny how our shows start mm -hmm. and then the progression over time, things kind of change and evolve into a different type of brand. So, I mean, here we talk about live streaming, but we also talk about fun community stuff, too. Um, yeah, How long have you been uh, live streaming? Uh, post Blab. Um, yeah. two years now, post Blab. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot you were a part of Blab. Boy, that was a wonderful community, wasn't it? It was, you know, and it kind of left a, a void when it closed down. Um, and I don't think anything ever came along that was quite similar to, to Blab. I mean, live streaming is live streaming, but Blab was a special kind of a community thing. It wasn't quite so public mm. um and you could kind of just hang out with like-minded people um and take a break you know it didn't yeah. feel you weren't you weren't in the public eye you were i mean it was it was it was live but it wasn't public so it's very different from what we're doing now yeah i remember um waking up one day and and going to my blab channel and getting this what I guess I called the screen of blab death, <laughs> you know, and uh, it, it just kind of, I was like, uh, what am I going to do now? <laughs> I, was just, I was saddened by the fact that blab had disappeared. Oh, there's um, Stephen Healy is joining us from the train. And uh, thank you so much for sort of being here, Stephen. Hello, Stephen. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> And uh, yes, also watching Jeff, Jeff uh, Adams on Be Live Television. Let's let's jump right into that and talk about what's happening right now. As we're we're competing right now <laughs> with, I think everybody watching on Be Live Television. Of course, uh, Brigitte, you know it's Be Live's second birthday, and as as we mentioned before, we turned the camera on there. That uh, where did that time go? I know it's it's hard to believe that it's it's two years. I mean, it felt like yesterday when we were celebrating Be Live's uh, first birthday, mm -hmm. all the excitement that went along with it, um, just the you know the the pomp and ceremony and how excited we were when Be Live had reached its first birthday. But you know, so much has changed in the last two years. You know, yeah. Be Live's grown in leaps yeah. and bounds. It's, 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 it's hard to it's hard to imagine that it's two whole years. Yeah, well, it's it's interesting because uh, I I've been with Be Live almost from the start. Um, I mean, I've been live streaming for a decade, but uh, so I've seen a lot of changes just in live streaming period. But like a moment ago, when we talked with uh, about or talked with when we talking about Blab, <clears throat> that we were all uh, most a lot of us were a part of, and then that changed. I think we had this this empty hole in us that was like, 
what am I going to do now? And I discovered BeLive with hard looking research because I kept looking every every day. I would Google something, Google something, looking for it, and finally it just showed up for me. And even you know, you talk about the growth um, feature wise. We've seen a lot of changes. You know, when they didn't have the, this talk show format when and, and first, and when they brought that out, we were all like, "Wow, this is awesome!" But I don't think we're ever really happy because <laughs> we keep wanting more. <laughs> no, not not at all. By the way, speaking of, of features, I mean, if we if we think of how B Live has. Um, evolved i mean it's got some major features that are different from uh, going live on facebook natively i noticed yesterday i haven't gone live i don't know how do you go live natively on facebook uh once in a while on my personal timeline yeah i i haven't done that for a while but i saw someone else's stream um yesterday quite by accident and I noticed that um, Facebook now had side by side instead of picture in picture. Have you seen that? Oh no, is that right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I was like, wow. When did that happen? I wasn't even, you know, I wasn't aware. So I'm not quite sure when they switched. You mean like when you bring you, somebody on camera? When you bring someone on camera, yeah. Because remember, it used to be like you could only do it go going vertical, right. portrait. Yeah, you could only go portrait. Right. And then it had that little picture and picture that was on the top, you know, this tiny little block there. Okay. Um, and now they're, they've they gone landscape and it's side by side. So you're so, talking from a mobile device then? Because I don't think you can bring uh, people on, on, on from desktop. I think it is from a mobile device, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. It's not too often I go live on f Facebook natively. Well, I did over the weekend, but I don't, I don't, I don't see it because somebody else is running the camera, so I wouldn't have noticed that. Um, one of the things you talk about, new, that's interesting. Though I'll have to check that out. One of the things that uh, I did talk about last week, uh, for those of you who might have missed it, there is a new feature. Uh, I believe it's for well. It's for Canada anyway. Um, you can add poll questions to your broadcast. And uh, I, you know, I, I've seen that, David, but I've not. I've not. Your... I've tried to use it. Okay. But I haven't actually had anyone um, respond to the poll yet. I'm dying to see how it works. Okay. Um, I I've seen one other person use the poll. Right. Has well, it has actually worked? Has it worked for you? Yeah. Well, I did a demonstration on last week's show uh, to Stephen because I Steve, Stephen and I um, we try to one up each other once in a while on like it was so funny one day we were we were doing a show and I had discovered Caster and um, ah. I I didn't tell them that I had discovered Caster and I was going to bring it up <laughs> later in the show. And in the first 10 minutes, <laughs> he brought it up in the show. And I was like, are you kidding me right now? Um, so anyway, we about that. so we sort of try to one at each other in a friendly, competitive sort of way. But I discovered this. Uh, so if you, when you go live, um, oh, I've, when you go live under your, uh, uh, your, your what, what am I trying to say? When you go live natively, under your settings, there's a, a tab that says interactive. And if you click on yeah. that, then you, that's where you can set up uh, poll questions. I try to make them. You can you can make them so there's a right answer and a wrong answer, and you can have almost as many as you want. I was using them as a poll question, so basically yes or no. You know, it's red your favorite color, yes or no. Mm. And um, so I demonstrated it, Stephen. It went fairly well. And then I did a, a show. We have our municipal elections on right now here in Sarnia, and uh, myself and a, another gentleman put on a, a municipal called Municipal Perspective. And I had polls running throughout the broadcast about the election, and it worked fine uh, using BeLive. Now you you don't operate it through BeLive, obviously, 
but I had another tab open so that I could turn on the poll when I was ready to, and then I could post the results when I was ready to. And it, it worked fairly well, and we had good response from it. So um, I know they'd been talking about doing that for a while. They're talking about doing uh, game shows and a few other things. So Facebook's around, and they, you know, they're not sleepy to this live streaming thing, obviously. So, Dan, did you actually tell people, you know, go and participate in the poll, or did people just do it by themselves? Or did you say, there's a poll, can you go and have a look? Well, it was, they saw it in the broadcast, right? So, I, yeah, I would say, okay, there, there's a poll, ladies and gentlemen, and, and then they would see it, um, and then they can click on something to vote. And from your mobile device, it just, it, when if you're watching on mobile, it would just show up on the screen. And then you could tap on the different answers. So okay. they, they it, so it's quite uh, easy in the in, in mobile or desktop for the audience. Yeah, yeah, I believe so. Uh, Kelly Shotty's out there um, saying hello, and I think Kelly might have participated in one of those. I'm not sure if he did or not. Um, I I saw it from a mobile device perspective. I didn't look and see it. Uh, from the perspective of being on desktop, so it's probably slightly different, but but it, it just shows up, and then you can click on it. So uh, lots of possibilities there. For that mm. Yeah, and uh, you know, I suspect uh, uh, we'll see. Um, you know, as these things happen, um, I, I would suspect because Be Live is a, is a Facebook. Um, API partner that we might maybe we'll see those integrations into be live that would be fantastic to do polls on be, polls polls on be live would be a great feature I'm I'm sure yeah and 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 we were talking off off camera earlier you know it's be lives second birthday later and we don't know but shall we tell everyone watch the space and see if there's any special announcements tonight yeah, or well, later it's, this afternoon. It's uh, it's on right now. Actually, it started. Um, first, I'll answer back to Kelly. It came out right just a bit. Yeah, I remember. But did were you watching on desktop or mobile, Kelly? That's what I'm trying to figure out. And if it was on desktop, where what like how did it show up? Did it just show up in the in the comments or in the broadcast or how did that work? So, yeah. So we're talking today. Um, one of the things we're talking about is uh, BeLive.TV celebrating their second. Uh, birthday that's super exciting two years we've seen lots of growth um, if you go over to be live TV uh, on Facebook uh, there is a broadcast that has begun there so it's, it's on now we you can go there but go there after we're, we're done <laughs> <laughs> Um, Don't be tempted. <laughs> I know. Right? Actually, we won't. We won't blame you. We won't blame you. We know. We know that um, that Stephen's watching both at the same. I don't know how. How do you watch two broadcasts at the well, same time? He's, he's switching back and forth or something. I don't know. He's <laughs> knows how he's doing that. But yeah, check that out uh, on Facebook, uh, be live TV, uh, and it's running on for quite some time. As they're they're always uh, or they're going to be announcing winners as well, right from uh, the nomination uh, category. I know, I know. I'm looking forward to get to meet some of these people, um, you know, because a lot of them aren't um, that well known in the Belivers group as much. Right. So it's going to be great to get to know some of them a little bit better um, during the celebrations today. Yeah, I agree, and that was that, that was actually a bit of a, a conversation that I've, I I saw in the Belivers group, and that I've had with uh, a few of our mutual friends. That there was a lot of people that I didn't even recognize their name, and as someone like yourself and Stephen that are, are are really active in this and in this group, and our moderators even, I was like, "Who's that?" I, I didn't know how to vote because. Well, I honestly, certain categories I didn't vote for because I just didn't know. I hadn't watched them, right? So I was like, well, I can't vote for somebody I don't know. Um, well, but that's a good that, opportunity. That's, that's a bit challenging. And absolutely, it's an opportunity to get to know them. And and it 
it makes one realize, I mean, we, there's, we're closing in on 8,000 members yeah. um, very, very swiftly um, in the Beelivers group. But it makes one realize that outside of that almost now 8,000 people, there has got to be a huge community of Beelivers that um, are not in the Beelivers group. Because I, I, I've noticed that a lot of people who are joining the Beelivers community, um, by the way, if you're looking for the Beelivers community, it's facebook.com forward slash the Beelivers. Um, and come on in and join if you are using the Beelive app or want to know more about the Beelive app. Um, so there's got to be this massive community still that um, that doesn't know because I've noticed that almost everyone who's joined the the Beelivers group have said, you know, oh, I got this invitation or someone told me about it. I didn't know the community existed. So I guess there's people who stumble across Beelive on Google or some by some other means, but right. they're not aware of the, the community um, per se. So although when you do have the the, um, when you do end the broadcast, it does give you the opportunity to join the, the community. But sometimes people may just think, oh, you know, I'm not sure what it's about or what it's for. Um, but once they've joined, I mean, everyone once they they really enjoys the community. Yeah. And uh, while you were doing that, I was listening, but I, I just checked out the Be Livers group and uh, I just added eight more people to the group that sent a. <laughs> that sent a request in, in the last two minutes. So something's oh going on there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Something's wow. going on there too. People are finding out more and and uh, that was 7,942, so plus eight now. So we just, uh, wow. we just hit 7,950, right? So uh, yeah, it's, it's, Fantastic. it certainly makes you wonder if there's another community out there that's, not, you know, but I mean, with that many members, I mean, we don't know of that many, there's certainly not, you know, 8,000 people that I'm aware of using BeLive yet, I don't think, but there may be a lot of people in there that they just like, they just creep around and they just read and they don't participate, right? I know, because what, what I've noticed, I don't know about you, um, I've seen, especially sort of in the daily, um, the daily stream, you know, when people post their broadcasts, it's kind of the same people that yeah. you see roughly over and over. Every now and then you'll see a brand new show and go, yay, oh, you know, that's a nice yeah. new show to go and check out. Um, but generally you kind of got the regulars, but then you, you, that list is slowly growing faster and faster as people get to hear about uh, Be Live TV. And and I don't think everyone is kind of aware of the fact that we've got the daily thread and that they should post their broadcasts underneath the daily thread just to keep it organized. Yeah. Um, and I think as long as, you know, as when people discover that, because it's, an, it's a great place to go and find, apart from the live video hub, which has now got, um, I don't know what the latest figure is, but... It's got it's almost, five it's million almost. shows. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, we've we've got our own little Netflix going on. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? The live streaming. Yeah, that's right. Well, and and uh, well, that's thanks to our friend Stephen Healy. He he puts so. I mean, a lot of us are really active, but he puts so much work into his live streams and his efforts uh, to the live stream community. Uh, I mean, honestly, if there was an award for that, uh, it'd be Stephen Healy all the way because he does he does so much behind the scenes as well, right? Which, um, you, as know? You, you know, as, as a live streamer, that, that if you're going to do this full time and make anything out of it, it's a business, and there's a lot going on before you go live. Absolutely, I say that constantly. I don't think people fully appreciate. Um, how much pre and post production work there is to do a live stream and that it's not the same as just hitting go live when you go live you know natively yeah. on facebook 
And what we mean natively by Facebook is without using any third party application or software. Just you taking you you take Facebook and you hit the go live button. This is not what we're talking about. We're talking about a produced show. There's so much pre-work and so much post-production work. And Stephen Healy does an amazing job of go live on video, the Be Livers group. Um, in the Be Live group, sorry, Be Live in Five, um, you know, we know how much work that takes. Yeah, it's for sure. A huge amount of work. And he's doing like five and shows we, a week. <laughs> and and we've now had the second um, five days live. I mean, even that too takes a tremendous amount of work. You yeah. know, putting it together. And, you know, doing all the advertising behind the scenes, the marketing, it's a lot of work. And then all the, you know, repurposing and stuff afterwards for a couple of weeks. It's a huge amount of work. Yeah, uh, I'm super, super grateful for him when he does that and, you know, happy to participate. But uh, Barbara is out there and uh, saying, yes, Stephen is the best. You all are wonderful. Well, thank you, Barbara. You are wonderful. Uh, for being here and participating and giving us those kind words as well. And um, by the way, if you want to join us here on the show, Barbara or anybody watching, you can do that uh, in the comments up here. I always do this. This is what Stephen will do. So right <laughs> above my horns here, there's uh, there's a link to follow us uh, properly uh, so we can see your comments and share. If you type guest in the comments below, you'll be sent a link that you can click to join us on camera and join the conversation uh, with us here. We'd, we'd welcome that for sure. So, yeah, I think there's, you know, uh, it's kind of like radio too. Like, you know, the, the DJs, uh, they do four hour shows, right? But they are at work for eight to nine hours because they've got all this other show right. prep. And, <laughs> and then they prep before the show. And then when they're done the show, they start prepping for the next one. So, um, yeah, I, I can certainly attest. I mean, I, I this is this is full time for me, right? And uh, this is this is my living, and you know, my studio is full of all kinds of stuff, and whatever. And you don't need everything I got here to to do it. But uh, I would I'd say probably the marketing is 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 a big part of it too. Um, uh, the, that is a constant learning curve, especially. You know, when we use Facebook so much for promotion and then we wake up one day and Facebook changes things. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has Facebook's got a unique way of keeping us on our toes. Just when you think, you know, I've now I finally got it down to a pet. I've got it all figured out. Now I've got a system. I've got all my marketing sorted out. You know, it's all the sizes work. And you wake up one morning and lo and behold, <laughs> none of Boom. the sizes works anymore. <laughs> and then they don't tell you all of this. You kind of just, ooh, why does that look so strange today? Those, those big jerks who give us this free platform, how dare they? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah, you talk about sizes, you know, we're kind of still going through that with, with – uh, when we post our live, right? The, the size of the image. I haven't been able to figure it out. I've tried smaller sizes and even the smaller, it worked for a while. And then after a while, it's like, I could have made it this big and it, and it still resizes it that doesn't fit. So have you, have you, have you figured out any of that or? Um, yeah, mine seems to be okay. You know, I've, the, the, I just figured the size myself, you know, I couldn't find, the exact size yeah. um so i've played around with it a bit and it's you know I, I get everything in that i need to that needs to be in okay so this here like you've got a show tomorrow um but this all fit in perfectly so what size is this do you remember or? um yes i can tell you if you give me one second um i'll tell you what size that is um, it's 1709 by 1008. 1709. 
by oh, 1008. So, oh, you know, I think I saw, yeah, I know that it's coming back to me. I saw that and I tried that. Are, you're talking pixel size, right? Yeah. I tried that and it didn't work for me. I wonder why. So I'm, I don't have to try it again. Maybe I didn't you you know what? You know what I? You know what I did find is that the height. I need to adjust the height just a teeny little bit. Right. And that's why you'll see I don't. I haven't taken the text right to the edges. Okay. Um, initially, the first because I've messed around with it because the first time I did it, it worked perfectly. Everything everything was in. And the next minute I noticed that my text that was right on the edges um, was being cut off slightly. So I had to just bring that in just a tad. Okay. All right. To so make you have it to, fit. You have to yeah. leave a, what they call a bleeding line. All right. Correct. So if you leave a bit of a bleeding line, it's it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll have to try it again. Maybe I didn't save something. right? Because that's frustrating. But I, I've sort of just... I've just stopped adding images and then let Facebook grab whatever it grabs from my page until, because I'll just figure it out and then they'll change it again. <laughs> I just wish that they would actually, you know, they would, they would get to a point where it actually kind of just works because now you load it and it kind of takes a disproportionate size of whatever you've got there. And then you've got a, um, I've got, you know, I fiddle with it a bit and I get it to work and it does work for me. Mm -hmm. um, what, I, what I do like though, um, and that I want to try is when you create, do you ever create an event for a live stream? I'll create an event and then go live in the event. Is that what you mean? Um, not necessarily go live in the event, event, but create an event just for marketing purposes to, yeah, to market I have done, your live stream. I have stream. done that, and, it, and I haven't done it in a while. I actually talked about it on the first Be Live in five days, and uh, <laughs> I'm guilty I, I haven't been doing that. Because I want to do that again. You know why? Um, they've recently made a change, and you can now – Instead of adding a picture to your to your event, you can actually put a video in, which is really cool. <laughs> That's cool. So you can kind of do like a, I know, yeah. I know. You can like just do a little video and then upload that video as your advertisement. I think that's really cool because you can do, because it's not live, so you can add in whatever fancy stuff you want to do, like, you know, and, and make it really look nice. Um, yeah. So you can do that. And then all you need to do is is pop in the link to your to your broadcast, um, you right. know, in the in the comments of the event and say, go and watch it. You know what I saw? I did. Um, she created an event and then she posted that onto LinkedIn, and then she used the broadcast link. And she said, um, confirm to confirm attendance, click here. And I thought that was very clever. I want to uh, do that. Oh, I to confirm attendance, click here. Hmm. Is that yeah, okay, that's interesting. Because remember when you click on the link, it'll take you to the to the broadcast where you can then click on get reminder. Yes, okay, yeah, no, I was, that's why I was trying to think in my mind is how that works. Yeah, no, that's clever, it is clever. Confirm attendance, click here, and then you'll, you'll see the get the reminder. Huh, let me write that down. <laughs> I thought that was very clever, so I, I definitely want to try that one. Well, and this is the thing about what we do uh, as a community, uh, a community of broadcasters, live streamers, whatever, this uh, the sharing of ideas and collaboration. We seem to all, we don't really compete with each other. I mean, we probably do a little bit. I mean, I'd like to get more views than you do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in, in that sense of the word. Or, But at the same time, I'm not really in competition with you. Um, so I'm happy to collaballate and share those ideas and thoughts. And I go, like, oh, that's a, that's a cool that's idea. I think there's a few of us who really... I think there's very few of us who really compete. It's 
because you know i mean every every live streamer is different is unique yes and your audience audience comes for you know they come and watch your show because they like you they enjoy your company so even if you have the same type of content um People are drawn to who you are and your unique style of presenting or whatever. So yeah. for me, it is is pretty much, you know, collaboration over competition because there's very few of us who live in the same town or have the same audience. Yeah. You know, yeah. we all all over the place, all over the world, different countries, different continents. And even if you are in the same town, so what? There's something, you know, people are going to be drawn to you. Yeah, so, that's right. you know. Yeah. Kelly's asking, is that like a watch party? I'm not sure. Is is what like a watch party? No. Is he talking about the He event? was asking, yeah, the event that we were talking about now. No, that's completely different. A watch party is when you're watching a video um, together. You know, you, you plan to watch a video together and you can all comment on that. This is... Um, an event to advertise your show. So yeah, two different so, things. Yeah. So Kelly, if you're having a fundraiser, you know, you create an event on Facebook and say, come to our thing. Same thing, create that event, but now you can include a video instead of putting a picture uh, as part of the, 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 I guess the banner at the top, you can upload a video. And I have, you got me thinking, I have seen that once or twice somewhere. Um, something else that I, I know, that's new to our Facebook page. I don't know if you've noticed this. I'll show. I'll share my uh, my page here. Is spotlight? Excuse me. Spotlight videos. Have you noticed that? Uh, remind me again. I've seen it, but I've. Oh yes, 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 yes. If you're using um, the video page format for your Facebook page. I love that. It's actually brilliant because you can spotlight a, a video that you want to highlight. So when somebody comes to your page, bam, that video is the first thing they see. Yeah, I think you, uh, I'm not sure if we're talking about the same thing. I know you you're, you might be talking about a featured video that you can make. One, yes. Every, that, yeah. that, that, okay, so, so run so by the, me what the spotlight video so, is. I don't know. Can you see that on your screen there? I can, yes. Actually, I'm going to bring it up in big screen so everybody can see here. Um, so you can have up to five spotlighted videos. So there's like last week's, my weekly show. And then I've listed some others here. So that's what people see when they come to the page, the five videos that you've chosen to feature. So it's not just one featured video now. You can pick five spotlighted videos to show on your page. Yes. Yes, I have. I have noticed that, and that's uh, and that's a great that. feature too. Because then, uh, well, it's just nice to be able to feature more than one, and that's something that I um, even the featured video. I I used it, and then I forget to do it every week or every time. These are these are habits that I create to go. Okay, my daily routine is I need to do this, and I need to do this, and I need to do this, and putting all those things together hopefully gets you gets you out there right that's why that's why i love like uh, repurpose.io you know for for repurposing my videos to different platforms i when i first heard about it i was like oh, i don't know i'm gonna pay like, well, i can do that myself and then as i yeah. uh, had more conversations with steven and and honestly as i've grown more shows uh, i was very grateful to steven introducing me to repurpose and it's easily worth the I don't know what it is, 20 bucks a month or whatever. I don't even know. It's it's not that important to me. It's that important to me to have it that I don't even care how much it is. I just pay it. But I think it's about 20 bucks a month. So very, very grateful for that system. Uh, did, do you use, do you repurpose? Um, no, I'm not using it at the moment, no. Okay. But do you repurpose any of your videos? Are you into that I, sort of thing? I, I do. Yes, I do. For me, it's you know I've got so many other things at the moment that I'm that I'm I'm paying for, and I've kind of had to decide you know what is most important to me right now. Um, so yes, repurpose is on my bucket list. Yeah, 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 yeah of things you. that I would like to add. Um, but there were other features that I felt I needed in order to 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 um, to grow my community 
um, more at the moment. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a so, priority thing, right? Yeah. 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 My wife isn't always happy that I have the credit card number. <laughs> <laughs> She'll say, okay, so do you still use that? Well, yeah, I do. So like, okay, are you using it? Well, no, I'm probably not a lot. <laughs> okay. I have to cancel that one. That's <laughs> just the way it goes. Um, that's a, that's you, sorry. You, you bring a good point though. Uh, we talk about priorities in this live streaming thing. I mean, you can spend a lot of money doing a lot of this stuff. Um, so you kind of have to decide, is this a hobby or is this a business? Because hobbies cost money typically, but hobbies are, 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 you know, I'm willing to spend that. And so I can have this, this joy or entertainment from my hobby. But on a business side of things, um, I just did an event the other day. I was using, I had to use my data. I, I was running out of data. I have lots of data, but and I was like, you know what? I, it is what it is. And if I got to pay for more data, I'm getting paid to be here to do this job. So I bought some more data. That's the cost of doing business, right? Absolutely. I mean, data, for example, is a non-negotiable if you're doing live streaming. And um, speaking of which, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for fiber. They're, you know, they're digging up the curbs. Um, uh, yeah. So it's finally here. I was like, you know, just, yes, bring it on to mama. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait for the fiber. <laughs> a, we're seeing that around here too. We've, I mean, we've had cable, which has been great. But now we're seeing the fiber go in all over the city too. So uh, it's starting to happen more and more. So... Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'll go fiber or not. Everything works here for me. It depends on cost, I guess. So, what are you using to connect? Cable. Okay. Like television cable, right? So, the, and is, like, is that what is the cost work out for you? Cable versus fiber. Well, I haven't looked at the price of fiber. Like, so we have DSL and we have cable. So DSL is a telephone wire line which is not very fast. Um, cable, like we would use for our cable television. Um, I think I have like 60 megabytes download and 10 megabytes upload. And That's pretty good. Unlimited. Yeah. And That's I pay very good. About 70 bucks a month or I, I can't remember. That's so, seventy about seventy Canadian. Yeah. Plus that. Um, and I could probably get it a little cheaper. Is. I just I haven't shopped around, and I just kind of go for a few bucks. I'm not gonna. I, I'm not. I'm not going. Everything's working. <laughs> you know, so I don't want to. That's a pretty good price, I'd is say. It? Yeah, yeah, that's a very good price. Yeah. I wouldn't complain for what you're getting. Oh, I um, no, I'm not complaining. I, I like to say I'm pretty happy with it. I'll tell you what I do complain about though is our cell phone rates. Canada is probably are those, uh, oh. are those high? Well, put it so I pay about a hundred and something a month just for my line. Now that being said. I am an above. Is that for a line or for? Is that for your calls and data combined? Yeah, it's for everything. Our, we have three phones on one bill, and it's just about three hundred bucks a month. So, um, but that being said, I'm the majority of that cost because I'm a above average user. Like I'm a high user, right, for calls and text, but data especially so we get 12 gigabyte data per month that i share between myself jennifer and my boy jason they're only okay, allowed now. to use uh one gig each because i need the other 10 for all my broadcasting that i do <laughs> but i ran out of <laughs> and i can turn it on and off it's a control thing um i was running out the other day at a broadcast and i was like man i'm only only halfway through the month and I still got another, you know, I got all these things to do. So we bought more data, 30, or sorry, two gigs of data cost me $30. 
And that's where Ouch. Kelly, Kelly, yeah, Kelly and I live in the same city. And he says, it's the mobile data where they screw us. Yeah. We have Canada and the United States have some of that. And we cannot get unlimited. Unlimited is not available. At least I haven't found it in Canada yet. One of the things oh, I was wow. thinking of doing, because we live on the border here, like the United States of America is two minutes that way from me. I was thinking mm. of going and getting an American phone. And just getting okay. an American phone for unlimited data. And that'd be worth it for me. I don't know if I can do that or not. I have to look into that, but I'm hoping that, yeah. Might be might be cheaper. Who knows? Yeah. So uh, they say we'll never see it in Canada. Uh, there's a lot of fighting going on with our, our carriers between TELUS and Rogers and Bell and all the others. Uh, and then there's there, there's like Kudo, for example. Kudo is TELUS. They're just a, a sublet company that uses TELUS towers. It's kind of like back in the day of, I don't know if you knew much about the reselling of, of telephone lines. I used to resell telephone lines. It was the same telephone. It's like, like internet. You know, my internet comes from a company that rents that line from the cable company. They can charge right. whatever they want because they buy in bulk, they get a discount rate. So it's all going to it's all it's still all going to the same place. <laughs> it's it's uh it's crazy. Just a question, um, David. Yeah. yeah. Does um on repurpose IO mm -hmm. does it automatically strip the audio from the video? Um you mean like convert it into like an MP3? Yeah. So you yeah you can do that. Um, at this point, all you can set it to do is convert it to audio, and store it. It'll store it automatically into a Google Drive or a Dropbox. But then you have to. It, it's not set to do it and manually upload anywhere except to SoundCloud. Right now. But that's what I'm saying. So if it if it <clears> uploads <throat> to SoundCloud, then it does act, it does actually split it for you. Then. Yeah. I would if, imagine. Right. If you're using SoundCloud. Well, it doesn't split it. It converts. It takes the video file and converts it and creates an MP3 file, right? But then you yeah, can so yeah, then, yeah, and, so, and, it, but, and it automatically goes to SoundCloud and, and so so what yeah. I'm, so it automatically goes to SoundCloud and it gives you the MP3 in your Google Drive. Yeah, you can do that. You have control to set that. You could send it just to SoundCloud, or just create an MP3, or you could do both. Um, what what I, the, what I was trying to say is SoundCloud is the only platform that you can do that to. They haven't added other platforms, but if you are on other platforms, for example, Anchor, um, yeah, it, it won't that's, automatically, that's quite a popular one as well. Yeah, it won't automatically upload to uh, Anchor yet, right? You have to do it manually. But uh, they're adding all that other stuff, kind of like. But Twitch. at least you've got the MP3. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, because that's another thing I used to do is. Oh, I had to, re and, and the, that's, you got to remember to do this stuff, right? Never mind doing it yourself. You got to remember to do this stuff. Um, so for me, it's fantastic. I get the, uh, I don't use SoundCloud, um, but I use Anchor. And the great thing about Anchor, uh, I don't know if you're using it, but you can set, like I'm on Spotify now. This show, this show will be on Spotify, or not this show, my afternoon show. So I upload to Anchor, set it there, and then and I click a bunch of settings, and it's I'm on you know Google Podcast, I'm on Spotify now, uh, probably twelve different places that I'm on um, because that I get that MP3 automatically created. I get a notification that says it's been done, so I go, oh yep, I got to do that. Um, it, it's if you're going to multiple platforms in different formats. Repurpose.io is the way to go. Did that just rhyme? <laughs> Repurpose.io is the way to go. <laughs> Trademark stamp. Good one. Good one. Good one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so no, are you going to be on me live later today then as part of the, the, the birthday celebration? You're going to be joining, right? Yes, I'll be joining. Yeah, right. Uh, Kelly says out there, yeah, or you could use uh, YouTube to MP3 converter. Yeah, and I, I have something like that. That's a, that is a great uh, way to do it. 
what we're talking about here, Kelly, is something that does this automatically for you. So when, if I set it up properly, so at the end of this show, uh, a certain hashtag in the um, uh, description, it'll take this video and automatically do all the things that I've asked it to do. And like, it'll automatically upload this video to YouTube. It'll automatically turn this into an MB3. It does all this stuff automatically for you. So, I mean, and, and that's so you don't have to do it yourself, right? So, because uh, I, that's I forget, like, say, oh, I got to do that wave file or that MB3 file because I got to upload that to. So the nice. Thing it about, actually takes a lot of work, you know. If you if you think about the amount of time that it takes you to to upload the video to to YouTube, um, you know, get it converted, post it all the different places you want it to be it's it's a a lot of time yeah um post-production oh yeah oh yeah for sure now are you um i'm curious uh are you broadcast on facebook but do you broadcast anywhere else like do you broadcast to youtube or anything like that or are you just strictly facebook uh you know, I'm I'm strictly Facebook, but I do repurpose to YouTube, and I do repurpose some of my shows, not all of them, to LinkedIn. Oh, okay. How long of it? Because they're doing video now. How long of a video do they allow? Um. Well, if you if you're putting it on your LinkedIn timeline, it's got a ten minute. Um. So so LinkedIn is really short videos. Yeah. It's got a maximum of ten minutes, right. but if you if you if you're going to put your video onto a page, you can put the whole video. Oh, like if you if you're doing an art if you're doing an article on LinkedIn, it allows you to put the to publish the whole video. Oh, so you're embedding it. But if you're simply it? going to do it into your yeah, so if okay. you simply put it into your timeline, then it's a ten minute limit. But if okay. you embed it onto an article, you can put your entire video there. Oh, got gotcha. you. I don't use LinkedIn that much. I have connections, linked connections, like so. This show will automatically get posted on, on LinkedIn. But I don't really actually do anything on LinkedIn other than add friends when they request. I, <laughs> it just hasn't been my world. But uh, well, that's interesting. Um, I, I I don't know how much you've heard talk of, but I'm in the Twitch world. Are you, you familiar with Twitch? Yeah. I don't really use Twitch. It's not something I ever got into. Yes, I'm familiar with Twitch, but I've yeah. never really, you know, I've never been a gamer. I mean, it, that's what Twitch was initially about, was gaming. So I've never been a gamer, ever, and I'm not likely to be. Um, and I know it's kind of morphed from just being a gaming platform. Yeah. Um, from what I've heard, yeah. Yeah. And I see uh, a lot more it, people getting yeah. into Twitch and you know, there's a lot more talk about Twitch. Yeah, well, so, I've been on. Um, I've had a Twitch account for probably two and a half years, but I uh, sporadically used it, and then like, yeah, I'm not a gamer, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but then I looked more into it, more into it, and then I, and and as I was looking more into it, they all of a sudden said, "We're going to open the doors." They only allowed gamers for the longest time. Now they've opened the doors, and they're looking for people like us. Um. They call or they have uh, in IRL, which stands for in real life uh, people. They have uh, talk shows. They have just chatting. They they have creative, you know, where people are. Remember Bob Bob Ross was that his name, the painter guy? You know, people that do that, <laughs> painter, whatever you yeah, want to be, yeah. people to play their guitar, take requests, all that stuff. So um, and uh, so I've been streaming on there for about five months but really hard in the last two and became a Twitch affiliate actually. So now I can start earning revenue from them. And oh, uh, nice. Yeah. And last night I had my first talk show. I'm going to be doing a, a talk show uh, every Sunday night uh, called Twitch talk. So, so what is, what is Twitch offer to IRL users? What do you mean? What do they offer? Um, like, can you do, is it just a single broadcaster? Can you bring on a, a second person? Uh, you, you can through like, they don't have software that like, like be live that you can use. 
to to uh, do a broadcast. So you would use OBS or something. So it's a little more okay. advanced, right? Um, there is, uh, uh, yeah, so it's a little more advanced. Um, so last night I did my first talk show because I, I stream Monday and Tuesday nights. I stream games. And last Using night, OBS. I used OBS, but then I also use what's called Discord, which is a chat server, kind of like a Skype chat text. There's a whole bunch of features involved in it. And it's, it's something that a lot of gamers use, but so uh, you can do video calls. So I had four of us on screen. I think you can have up to like eight, even nine people in Discord on a virtual, on a video call. And then I just screen shared all of okay. that. And, and uh, that's how we, how we did it. Yeah. It's, it, it's pretty simple. What is if, Discord? I'm, I'm not, I've not heard of Discord. So Discord uh, is a chat server, um, a video call server. You create your own kind of kind of create your own world, your own group. So I can have all these different uh, text chat rooms, and then I can have with different titles and themes, and then I can have voice uh, rooms so that we can go in and we can be talking voice, and you can have a whole. You can have thousands of people all talking to each other um, and you can do video calls and it's all connected into the Twitch world. And it's, it's, I, I, I could probably do several shows on what discord is. So mm -hmm. it's, it's an amazing tool and it's free. So, Oh, wow. Yeah. So last night I had my first talk show called Twitch talk. So I'll be doing this every Sunday night on Twitch. Um, we be, we're talking about Twitch and esports and gaming, anything to do with that world, including the entrepreneurial side of it as well. So, and it went very well. Um, I find honestly um, Twitch to be a very engaging community as far as viewership goes and conversation in the chat. Multiple people. Okay. It's, uh, it's very. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm excited for this. So I'm not, I mean, I'm not leaving Facebook by any means. I still have my place here in Facebook, but then as far as gaming um, and because of my involvement at the college with the gaming world and everything too, it just, it's a good fit for me. Right. So it's a good promotional tool. How's the college thing going by the way? Well, not bad. Like I haven't started teaching yet. I've, I'm still, um, well, we've got the course outline pretty well done. We just kind of got to fine tune a few things. Um, but I won't start teaching there until January, but there's, uh, there's other things coming that I'm really excited about that I'm not able to share right now, but, uh, it's, it's an exciting time and, and, uh, uh, let's have this conversation even a year or two from now and we'll, we'll look back and go, wow, cause there's so much, we're, we're, this is the first program in all of Canada at our little college here in Sarnia, Ontario. And um, even on my Twitch talk last night, some of the young folks that were guests on there with me were like, you do what? And and this is available. And you have like, we have varsity teams that play Rocket League and Fortnite and, and the big competitions. And they're like, I want to go to this college. How do I go to this college? Right? So the big wave of this thing is, is, and other colleges are, are coming along and other universities um, and Lampton College here in Sarnia will will be a leader in in that area. So the opportunities that come with that, I'll just be. Who knows where I'll be? <laughs> yeah. It's Tell me time. something. Um, Discord and and Skype. Um, have have you done a comparison between the two, or what's the comparison between the two? Um, I I know that it's that's it's oranges and apples like. Oh really? Uh, yeah, like Skype is video and audio conversations, and it's one on one. Yes, you can have multiple, but Discord is a whole community. Like it's a server, and you create, you know, your server, and then it's also you've, you've got bots, and you've got uh, it connects directly into Twitch, and it's it's not a simple answer. <laughs> you really have to just. Uh, you know, you spend a lot of time with somebody who's doing it or just look into it and start playing around with it. And, um, there's, there's, there's just so many fantastic features. So it's not an apples for apples kind of thing. No, no, it wouldn't be. 
Skype is, you know, you're, you've got a username and I want to connect with you. I call you and we have a video call or an audio call and we can add in, I don't know, a few other five people or whatever. And that's all it does. Yeah. Discord is more of a community that you create for your Twitch channel or, or anything that you're doing, but it's specifically ah. designed towards Twitch, right? So in your community, okay. you, you say, oh, come and join my Discord and we can all chat in the Discord and, um, you know, you can share video clips and it's just, yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd be happy to show you another time. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It, okay. It's, uh, it's a, yeah. It's it'd be nice to chat fun. about it sometime. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, come and watch Twitch Talk. We'll be doing that on there. <laughs> Self shameless promotion. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, well, I don't know. So eight o'clock Eastern would be. Oh, two o'clock in the morning for you, I think. Eight. Yeah, that's a little bit of a bad time for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're good. Well, you're going to be. Uh, well, I guess not too late. Will it be past your bedtime tonight when we're on Be Live today? No, no. That is in an hour from now. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So hour, hour and a half. Hour and a half, I think. Uh, yeah, we're on at two twenty Eastern. So yeah, about an hour. Yeah. Uh, so that's hour yeah, just just under yeah, just over an hour. Um, it's it's seven p.m. here where I am now. So oh yeah, it's, it's not too bad. Yeah. Oh no, it's Australia that's going to have the problem, right? It's Australia. Yes, it'll be four thirty in the morning for them. Yeah. 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 Good for them. <laughs> There's loyalty for like you. Like in wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're all just about at the top of the hour here, Brigetti, but I'd like you to talk about your show that you're doing tomorrow. Oh, sorry. I've got hair fever. Excuse me. Bless you. Um, yes. Uh, Writer's Corner Live tomorrow. And and it's, it's a show where I have um, authors. But tomorrow I've got an amazing illustrator slash novelist. Okay. And um, he's been around for many, many years, and I'm looking forward to hearing his, his story. Um, but a hundred of his authors for whom he's illustrated have won the best um, author award. So oh, nice. he is, is – he yeah, absolutely – um, I think he's illustrated 60 books or 60 of his 60 of the books he's illustrated as won awards. Wow. So he's at the top of his game when it comes to illustrations and, and his story of how he got to be where he is now. I mean, he initially started like, you know, as a hobby and um, didn't take it seriously at all. Okay. So he submitted work for, you know, for some authors and they loved what he did and the way that he churned it out so quickly. And somebody said to him, you know, you're on to something. And he didn't take them seriously. And um, so it kind of happened all by accident, you know, that he got to be where he is. And he just happens to absolutely love what he's doing. Oh, okay. So I'm looking, yeah, yeah, looking forward to that interview uh, yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'll do my best to uh, catch that because it looks like it's 12 o'clock Eastern my time, so I'll have to do my best to check that out. Uh, speaking of uh, more shows again, another plug for myself. Tonight on Twitch at 8 o'clock Eastern, we do this every Monday, it's Father versus Son. <laughs> and that's just your, your, actually your son? That's my boy, Jason. Cool. Yeah, yeah. and, and he's, nice. he's taking the eSports program at the college as well, so I'll be teaching him. <laughs> Um, nice. but, uh, and it's actually kind of, uh, his fault that I got involved into this gaming thing. And I, I mean, his fault in a good way. So, um, yeah, we get on there and, well, it's and something it's you can, something, an extra thing you can enjoy together. Oh yeah. We have a lot of fun. And, and honestly, it's like, you know, when I was a kid trying to play checkers against my dad and, you know, you try to beat your dad at a game, but, uh, he, pr he pretty much kicks my butt all the time. There's no question. So it's very, it's very, in a it's, good way. Yeah. Yeah. We make it very entertaining to watch and we play a, a multiple different games. So, uh, we, you know, we, we'll be having a lot of fun with that tonight on Twitch. So, all right. Well, Brigetti, Enjoy. look at that. How fast that uh, goes by. 
I thank you for filling in for our friend Stephen. It's an absolute pleasure. Well, I look forward to seeing you on BeLive.TV. Okay, those of you watching, Kelly, go now. Now you're free to go over there and go to BeLive.TV <laughs> on, on Facebook. And Jeff Adams is there. And, we'll, and uh, Brigetti, myself, Stephen Healy, and a few others will be on about uh, 2.20 Eastern for about 10 minutes sharing some cool things with you as well. So um, if you enjoyed the show, as we always say in the comments below, give us a 10. If you didn't enjoy the show, do nothing but come back again next week and give us another chance. And um, if you're watching the replay, type replay down below. Thanks, everybody, so much for watching. Brigetti, thank you. I'm going to run out right away after this, and uh, we'll see you this afternoon. Bye for now, everybody. Okay. Bye.